I'm Michael Bain and welcome to Triggered, coming to you from the secret hidden bunker in the Rocky Mountains and Dragon House Studio where spring is slowly, slowly creeping up on us. And today I want to talk about this gun. This is Arms Corps Rock Island Armory 5.0E. E is for enhanced. Now, if you recall and go back to SHOT Show, not this year's SHOT Show, but last year's SHOT Show, across the board feeling was the Rock Island 5.0 was the runaway hit of the show because it was something entirely different. It was a semi-auto 9mm pistol with a different operating system, a ram valve system as designed by the brilliant gunsmith Fred Craig and of course we're working with Martin Tuasson and it seemed like a slam dunk gun and then within a couple of months it slipped away. There were some out there but not many. I got floods of emails especially from competition shooters going hey Bane that thing you shot where is it? Well in a sense it went home for a little rework. And then at this year's SHOT Show, Rock Island brought out the 5.0 Enhanced. And it is extremely very enhanced. A lot of those enhancements you can't see. Some changes in uh, the barrel geometry. The uh, earlier model had sort of a trapezoidal barrel, but this is a square barrel. So a little bit of changes in those geometries. And if you look here at the aggressive grips or grip, aggressive cuts on the slide. This is because the 5.0 is one of those guns like a, a SIG P210 or CZ series where the slide rails are inside the frame and that means when you have to manipulate the gun you have this much space up here to manipulate it. Well these cuts make it really easy to manipulate this gun. Second point, a proprietary mounting setup for optics and open to many many optics. It comes with two plates. Here's an example of one of those plates. The plate itself is from CNH Precision who make the best plates in the world which is a nice touch. 17 rounds, 15 rounds, 10 rounds, 29 rounds. The 17 round magazines and then the sub magazines are $29.95 which is something amazing for what this gun is. A competition gun. It is a competition gun that absolutely feels incredible in your hand. The trigger pull, mine is like 3938, and very little take up. A better, I said the trigger pull of the first one was great. This one is the kind of trigger pull you get on a custom competition gun. I want to talk a little bit about bore axis when we come back. You know the RIA 5.0 packs radically new innovations, but we didn't stop there. Introducing the RIA 5.0E. The E stands for enhanced, as in new optics cuts and plates. The updated barrel is crafted with improved materials and slide geometry. The look and feel is also enhanced. Plus, new lightning cuts show off the updated match grade barrel. Experience the enhanced RIA 5.0E today. Welcome back to Triggered, where we're talking about the Rock Island Armory 5.0E for Enhanced. And what I want to talk about a little bit here is bore axis. Bore axis is essentially how far down the barrel is sitting in relationship to your hand. In an ideal world, there would be one straight line between your bones and the barrel because that gives you the greatest amount of recoil control that you can get. The higher you raise that barrel, the more likely you get this. You get the snappy. Sometimes you shot guns, as you know, that you think, well, this gun should shoot great. And you say, funny, the recoil just feels snappy to me. That's almost always a result of a higher bore axis. This gun has maybe the lowest or one of the lowest bore axes of any 9mm semi-auto available out there. Secondly, because it's not using a tilting barrel browning system, essentially think of it as kind of a blowback system where the barrel is moving linearly, it's not torquing up, it is much less felt recoil. And, and I say that in all seriousness, this gun doesn't recoil very much at all. What I've been shooting in it is Arms Corps Ball, 124 grain ball. I have not run any target ammunition through it as yet. 
Uh, if they will let me keep it for T&E a little longer, I'm going to put a Trijicon uh, RMR on it and shoot it then. But this is ab absolutely one of the best shooting 9mm competition type guns that I've ever shot. I want to show you, first I want to tell you the bad news, right? You want the bad news? It's all, just under $2,000. And you know why that's not that much of a bad news? Any of you who are competing, go buy a Staccato. Go buy a high-end CZ. Uh, choose your poison. Go buy a good shooting competition revolver from Smith & Wesson. To play in those games, it costs a lot of money. This gun, to me, fits my hand perfectly. Um, it's muzzle heavy, but it doesn't feel that muzzle heavy. I wanted to briefly show you the guts, right? This is from the, one of the 5.0 originals. And this is what the frame looks like taken apart. This is the locking block that sits down into the frame. And then there's a locking valve that drops into this locking block. It goes through here, it drops in. Uh, this valve catches on an edge here, so it would sit almost like this. And I'm probably not explaining this very well to you because I personally don't understand it quite as well. But it's a different takedown than I've ever seen on uh, a 9mm pistol. So I, I think this has potential to be a super gun in the competition circuit. I wish I had it when I was shooting IPSC or when I was shooting IDPA. And as soon as I'm able to purchase one of these, I'm going to. Because, hey, get a holster from our friend John McLean, who is a team shooter, by the way, for Rock Island Armory. And you have, really, a true super gun. When we come back, everything comes in colors. This week's Triggered is brought to you by Rossi. The legend continues. Stoger. Everyday Tough. SDS Imports, Tesis. Tesis means quality. Hunters HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. MTM Case Guard. Quality shooting sports accessories. And Ed Brown. The best money can buy for over 50 years. Okay, spring is upon us, and you know what spring means. Spring means fashion. And nowadays, in a concealed carry world, fashion doesn't just include your clothes, your frocks, your shirt, your, your pants, those perfect shoes. The color of your gun needs to match your general outfit. You know I'm joking, right? That's not true. Still, there's no reason why all guns have to be black. These are from the Stoger STR9 line. We've talked about the Stoger STR9 since the prototype stage. They're easily one of the best values in firearms and handguns available. Multiple sizes, a little bit larger size, a compact size, a mini, a mini 9mm size. They are excellent world-class guns backed up by a name you all know, Stoger, and they're in the $300, $400 range MSRP. Absolutely great. Well, Stoger decided that maybe they should take a little bump from springtime, and it shot. They released a few different colors. This is a distressed FTE, Flat Dark Earth. Um, it, maybe it's distressed because it wanted to be orange, but in any case, it's actually a good looking gun. And as you know, Stoger has put their great trigger, those flat triggers, super trigger in every gun in the line. If you want to go something for more subtle, this is STR9, oops, with a magazine in it, in Magpul. O OD, OD Green. Magpul OD Green is different than Military OD Green, which is OD different from almost everything else in the world. I like this one a lot. This one, of course, is, is cut for an optic. Great trigger. Uh, literally, literally, if you went back 10 years and you said you could get a gun this good for the amounts of money we're talking about here, you would be absolutely 
utterly odd. So take a look at STR9. I've got some additional ones coming. The STR45 will be here. And also the STR9 that they modified to meet mil spec, which is a really interesting gun. And I want to show you one other gun that I'll just reach down and grab. Since we have been talking about Rock Island competition guns, this is my first Rock Island Armory double stack competition gun from a long time ago. I think the work was done by the late Jim Anglin, Sailor's Pistols. And um, if it looks old and beat up, it's because it is old and beat up. A lot of thousands of rounds through this gun. So RIA has been making competition guns for a very long time. So I'm Michael Bain. This is Triggered. You can find us at michaelbain.tv, free always. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Rumble. You can find us on X. You can find all our links at michaelbain.tv. See you next week.